Hi guys, it's me Malcolm, the movie wizard of Oz himself. And I'm here to discuss my review of, of this awesome movie that I practically grew up with. I'll give you some hints. Hints. It's directed by Tim Burton himself. It has a great cast. I mean, I mean, it has a huge, humongous cast. Yes. And it's also based on a on a toy just like Transformers or Battleship. You know, you know what it is? Mars Attacks. Yes. And like I say, we do have a huge cat's cast in this. When I grow up, I wanna be famous, I wanna be a star, I wanna be a movie. When I grow up, I wanna see the world. We got Jack Nicholson, Glenn Close, Pierce Brosnan, Martin Short, Short, Jack Black, Jack, Christina Applegate, Pam Greer, Sarah Jessica Parker, and so on and so on. Oh, I'm so sorry. I like I said it so many. We even do have the fabulous Tom Jones himself. Wow. When it comes to his song, It's Not Unusual, every time I hear this song, it definitely reminds me of that movie. That and The, Ma the Matador. It's not unusual to be lonely, it's not <laughs> but, but I don't want to go off topic about that. So yeah, this is... This is Tim Burton's love story to his to a send up of all 1950s classics, which is kind of ironic considering considering he he did a movie ba movie based on the director Ed Woods, who was famous of doing of doing terrible movies like Plan Nine from Outer Space. <laughs> it, I mean, I mean that movie was. An inspiration of him doing this, doing this ultimate classic back in the nineties. I absolutely love this movie. I love every single minute about it. I love, I love the cinematography, the, the acting, 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 the CGI. It was, it was top notch. Oh, I mean, we do have some awesome scenes in this movie. I don't know which ones I love. Love. I mean, there's so many to choose. I do believe. Um, I'm sorry. There's so many. I mean, there's so many to choose from. From though. Yeah. I mean, what are the odds we have passed from? I mean, what are the odds, odds that that Tim Burton gathered all of his acting, but all of his actors he worked with the past, such as Jack Nicholson and Danny DeVito, who played, well, you know, the Joker and Penguin. It's talking about talk about a reunion, though. Anyway, I really do love the Martians. I I but I even do remember 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 the remember that unique neat disguise of one of the one of the Martians dressing up as that lady. You know When I was when I was in middle school I used to draw to draw a a portrait of that of that disguise. It was Amazing. I was so good back in the day. Okay. okay, enough about that. It's a good thing I watched this because because I just found out that this movie was going to leave was going to leave tonight. Like among with so many others on the, on HBO Max. So, for my score for Mars Attacks, I think it was an incredible movie. It was so awesome. It is an excellent addition to, 
addition to Tim Burton's collection. So I think I'll give this one a nine. Definitely a nine. Okay, you guys, I guess that's it. If you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, and be sure you all stay safe and stay healthy. Bye.